how can you avoid the mistakes of entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship for many is an incredibly lonely journey. I know when I started out, I didn't have a mentor at all. I didn't even know where to look for a mentor. And well, because of that, I made an absolute ton of mistakes. It cost me a ton of time, money, and it also cost me influence. And I want to help you avoid all of those mistakes. So stay tuned for this video because I'm gonna give you all of the tools you need to avoid the same mistakes that I made. I'm going to show you how to stop wasting your time and your money. We'll talk about the launch myth. And at the end of this video, I'll show you why lazy people always lose. <laughs> The first biggest mistake that I made as an entrepreneur is underestimating the amount of time and money certain tasks would take. I would always try and do my tasks in as quick amount of time as possible. And I would always underestimate when I would create the estimates and the project proposals for my customers and it would end up costing me extra money in the back end because I wasn't charging for my time. At one point I did the accounting and I realized that I was making less than minimum wage for hundreds of hours being spent on a project. That's not the way to help your, your business grow. So what you need to start doing is keeping track of your time. I would do time studies where every 15 minutes I would have this piece of paper beside me and every 15 minutes I'd write down the task that I was working on. Not trying to skew what I was doing, just simply to become aware of where I was spending my time. This was so important in the early days when I started my consulting business because I needed to know how much time it actually took me to accomplish certain tasks. As I continued to grow in my business, in my experience, I would get faster, I would be able to do bigger and better things, I would have more understanding of what the customer needed so I could move faster and forward in a better way. And so I would keep doing these time studies and see where I was able to become more efficient. This also helped me create better estimates for project proposals so that I was actually making the money I should be making instead of making less than minimum wage on projects that spent took way too much of my time. So don't make that mistake. But also let me know in the comments if you have spent an, like a crazy amount of time um, that you've overestimated on a project. Did you tell a client that it was only going to take two hours when in reality it took you five? Let me know down in the comments below. Now the launch myth that I heard so often when I was first starting out was that you had to constant, constantly be launching and that your launches had to be long and intensive, that you had to think about them and plan them out months and months in advance. Well, yes, that is true for certain businesses in certain stages of their business. It wasn't true when I started out for my business. And so it ended up costing me tons of time, tons of wasted energy, Energy and a lot of anxiety that I didn't need to have. When in reality, when they say to constantly be launching, it doesn't necessarily have to be this big, bold, planned out launch. What it means is always think about getting people excited about the next thing that you're putting out. Even if that's just simply putting out a post to say, check out the awesome interview that I just recorded with this cool celebrity or this influential person or this person with a solution to you, the customer's problems. Check out this awesome interview I just did. Here's a snippet. I'm gonna release the full interview this Friday on the podcast, so make sure you tune in. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast for that episode. That is a very simple way of launching that next piece of content, helping people get excited and familiar that you're going to have some value, piece of value come out to them very, very soon. Totally not launch related, but make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell notification, become an official visibility hacker here on the channel. We got new videos for you every single week. All right, quickest way to sink your boat is to be lazy and lazy people always lose. 
And what I actually mean by this is those entrepreneurs who fail to do their adequate customer research are wasting every single moment and every single piece of energy that they put into any action they take afterwards. Understanding who your customer is, being fully aligned with your customer avatar is absolutely essential. I was just working with a client um, and they were in the middle of a launch when they realized that the business partners were talking to different customers. They were all talking to different segments of a much larger market and they were trying to tap into this much of that market. And it wasn't working simply because they were all talking to different people. They were creating products that weren't in alignment with the, the vision and with the plan for the product they were actually providing. They were reaching for these customers that were up here, but in reality, they were creating content that was serving customers down here and actually repelling the customers they were looking for. So make sure that you do your customer research. You understand your market. You understand your hashtags, your keywords. Do all of that background information before you start building things. And that way, every single thing that you build will be in alignment with the way to actually solve that same customer's problems. It's easier to sell solutions to the same audience than it is to constantly be looking for new audiences for every solution that you find simple trick. It's going to help you help save you a ton of money. <laughs> now, once you've done all of your research and you're ready to just start pumping out solutions to your audience, the easiest way to build up that audience is to build up your stage, to build up your show, to build up what we like to call your live stream presence. But here, I got a tool for you guys. Down in the description box, you'll find the live stream analysis checklist. I want you to go through it, print it out, go through it, and look at all of the different areas that you should be showing up in your live stream. Just fill in the circles, zero to 100. Fill it in of how you think you're showing up. And if that score doesn't align with what you think the quality of your content is, then I want you to get in touch with us and join us for Live Academy. We're gonna help show you how to build out an incredibly impactful community generating machine. We like to call it a community machine, a connection machine. And we'll help you connect to new audiences, nurture the audiences you already have, and start ascending them up through your value ladder, purchasing your products, connecting deeper and deeper into your world. So for First, you got to start with your live stream analysis. So click the link down below, download that absolutely free. It's on me. I want to see you guys get your message out to more and more audiences. And when you're ready, join us for Live Academy. Until I see you again, my friends, check out these videos. Remember, I love you. Be excellent to each other and just go live. <laughs>